Okay, you're in Microsoft Word and you want to insert a PDF into your document. Now you can either insert the PDF as an icon, a clickable link, or you can actually insert the contents of the PDF into your Word document in an editable form. So let's look at how to insert an icon, first of all. So you click into the document where you want the icon to appear. Then you go to insert on your ribbon, over to the objects button in the text group. You may not see the word object if your resolution is smaller, but you should see that button there, the object button. So click on the drop down next to it and then choose object. Then you want to go create from file and then browse for the PDF that you want to create an icon for that you want to link to. And then click on insert. Now to display the icon, you need to tick this button here. And if you want to change the icon text, just click on change icon. And then you can change the caption to be whatever you want it to be. And then click on OK. And then click on OK again. So if you double click on this icon, it will open up the PDF. The next option is to show not an icon, but a preview of the PDF, like the first page. And this again is clickable. It will open up the PDF. So you go to insert again on your ribbon, go back to your objects button, and then go to object in the drop down. Click on create from file and browse for the PDF that you want to link to. So this time we're not going to tick the display as icon option. We're just going to go straight to OK. And you can see that it gives you a preview of the first page of the PDF. And you can resize this. And again, if you double click on it, it opens up the PDF. Now with both of these options, what we've done is embed a copy of the PDF in the Word document. So if you email this Word document out to somebody, the Word document will contain a copy of these PDFs. If you don't want that to be the case, if you want to link to the PDF rather than embed a copy, then it's a very similar method. You go to insert, back to your object button, choose object in the menu, and again, browse for the PDF. Let's choose this one this time. Insert. And you choose this option, link to file. Now, the benefit of linking to the file is that you're always linking to the latest version of the PDF. You're not creating a copy that lives within your Word document. The disadvantage of using this method is if you email the Word document out to someone outside your organization, the link will not work. Okay, I'll just cancel out of that. So the other option is to insert the PDF in an editable form. So let's see how this works. You go to the Insert tab on your ribbon, go to the Objects button, click on the drop down, and this time select Text from File. Let's select this PDF. And then if I click on Insert, it'll ask me what type of conversion I want to proceed with. Well, I'm converting from a PDF, so I click on OK. And then in this dialog box, click on OK again. And you can see it's inserted the document, including any images that were in the original PDF. And this text can be edited and the pictures can be edited as well. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully that's useful. If it is, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you next video.